What is going on guys, it's Jordan here, back again with another video and today we're going to continue on with episode 2 of the internship game. So last time I kind of just showed you my CVs which took about 20 minutes to go through in total. Today, as mentioned, we're going to go straight in with applications and stuff and before I do that, I'm actually going to tell you guys, well I'm going to put up a screenshot here of my current CV, it's my fifth one from the last episode, of a few minor adjustments. So as you can see, if you remember from last time, all the dates now are bold. And I've also got rid of my AS levels, as I said I would. And at the bottom, I've added a section just saying that I've grown a YouTube channel from zero to 120 subscribers. And that's basically it. <laughs> this is very familiar. And you would have seen it before if you saw the last episode of this series. So enough of that. Let's go straight into it with applications. And let me quickly open up a screen recorder. So I'll jump into the computer. You can see what I'm doing. And the first thing you want to do is open up a bunch of tabs of like different internship job graduate scheme um like i don't know the specific i don't know the specific term for it but it's like a collection of just all the internships so one of the good ones at the moment is debut they have an app as well that people seem to love obviously grad checker rate my placement and also bright network are different sources of um, internships i also use seo and upreach as things i've mentioned in the past which are targeted for like lower socioeconomic demographics and stuff and some of my friends also use Rare and there's different platforms like Into University and all these different sources that you can use that where people help you out to find these sort of things but I'm not going to go through that today because I don't think I'm allowed to as you have to apply to be part of those um, networks but for people that are interested those obviously work as well and LinkedIn is also good and Google is also a very very good platform if you just type in like Dyson internship for example things will come up so those are different ways you can go about finding them but just for today, we're going to use these four. Debut, Grad Checker, um, I keep saying Grad Checker, it's Grad Cracker, Rate My Placement, and Bright Network. So one thing I usually do just to help streamline the process is I'll open a second window for like half of what I'm doing, and then the other window will be for the rest of what I'm doing. So in this case, I'm going to have Grad Cracker and Rate My Placement on one screen. Actually, no, I'll, I'll do Bright Network instead. And then in the other screen, I'll have Grad Cracker and Debut. So this way, I've got two like streams at once, I can go through different things. And then as soon as you have your all your tabs open, the first thing you want to do is just narrow down your, like, like filter out the things that you want to apply for. So Grad Cracker, as you can see here, is for STEM uh, placements. But because I'm a first year, I'm looking for like uh, spring things or insight events or just other things that are applicable to second year of a four year course. So what I've done now is I've gone into each of them and I've tried to get first year programs in like all the three tabs, or the four tabs, sorry. And now that they all showcase the ones that are most applicable to me, I'm going to go through, filter through one by one and just open up different tabs to each one that I think is necessary. And then as I go through, I'm going to try and systematically organize them. So it's like first deadline to latest deadline. And some of them actually have deadlines today. So hopefully we can get some more things done uh, before uh, I miss the opportunity. Which, yeah, let's get into that now. So right off the bat, I've had to close down debut because most of the things that were on there were like female insights and there weren't many good, um, any good like spring opportunities or insight events for me. So I closed that whole thing down because there's nothing particularly useful there. Um, Grad Cracker, as expected, is the best one for me right now because it's focused on STEM. So there's different firms like Taylor Wessing, Bank of America, BlackRock, and all these like, um, I mean, obviously the finance, like they're banks, a lot of them are banks, but they have tech related roles in them, like IT, uh, software engineering, stuff like that. So I'm gonna have a look through and just see what, what I like. Most of the deadlines here, thankfully, are December, January. So I've got a bit of time. But as I mentioned, I found one in Google, for example, they've got like a two day insight uh, next week, actually, a week after. And the deadline for that is today. So I've got to do that one very, very quickly. But as I'm scrolling through Grad Cracker now, I'm gonna open some more tabs up and then um, in a sec we'll see what is the coolest. So having gone through it, um, Rate My Placement has the most current opportunities for um, first years and stuff. And there's a lot on here for like women and women, uh, colour people and things like that. So, um, well not colour people, like ethnic minorities. So it's very, anyone who's looking into it now, I'd recommend Rate My Placement because they have the seem to have the most diverse um, list of opportunities. But then, as I said, Grad Cracker has got all the STEM ones, which are the ones that I want. So we'll probably just go with that. I've opened a few tabs, as you can probably see here, with like Bright Network, and I'm going through Rate My Placement now. But most of the ones that I like have much later uh, deadline applications. So I'm not going to do them all today, but this is more of getting a feel of what's out there. 
having a read, seeing if I'm actually applicable for it. Because sometimes it will show an opportunity and then you go onto the website and you're about to apply and it says pronouncement year only or women only or blah, blah, blah. So this is more of going through just to see what's, what's out there at the moment. One thing worth mentioning is that to help refine your search, obviously apply to places that you want to go to. Like a lot of these say Scotland or Wales. I'm only looking for a central London or like greater London because I want to live at home. So that's another thing that will help you narrow down your search much quicker because otherwise you're applying everywhere and it will just get long. Right, so now I've got a good few tabs open. The next thing you want to do is take notes of all the firms you're applying to so you know like that you sent an app off here, or you sent an application off there, you have an interview as and when. So I'm going to open a Google Keep um, note and then we'll go from there. For that, you'll need... My phone's answering me for some reason. I thought, I thought I was talking to it. Actually, instead of doing that, what I'll do is open up in Word just so I don't have any extra tabs open. Because at least as a Word document, it'll be on a separate page, which is easier for me to handle uh, later on. So what I'm going to do is, as I mentioned, there are a few app there are a few opportunities I found that are deadlines today. So I'm going to do that quickly off camera and uh, we'll come back to this in a sec. Okay, what is going on guys? Jordan here again, obviously. And off camera, I actually got my first two applications done. One for Google's um, Top Black Talent program and one for Google's Hackathon, which is coming up both of them in the next few weeks. So the next thing I'm going to do, of course, as you can see here, is this BAML event, Multicultural Leadership Network. And off camera as well, I spent time kind of navigating through all the links I opened and making sure they were in uh, some sort of order so I know what to apply for first and what to leave till later. Obviously from left to right is the closer deadlines. So the first thing I want to do of course is BAML, which the event is in 10 days and the deadline for this thankfully is tomorrow. So I'm going <laughs> to send the app off in the morning because I'm tired as hell right now. And I don't want to make silly mistakes just because I want to get out for the video, you know? So that'll be done tomorrow. And then next will be of, of course Microsoft Career in Tech. Um, deadline is next week and then EY, um, equity research investment and so on, such and such. All these tabs are now in some sort of order. Some of them like if you go further down it says rolling deadline which means like they're going to keep pushing the deadline back until they find everyone they need for that place so that's kind of useful to me. It means I've got time to do it but then it also means that if they find someone right now or tomorrow this application, this process is gone so I'm going to keep an eye on it and obviously apply for the ones that have actual fixed deadlines and then come to this um, when I've got a bit more of a window. But otherwise, that's basically all I've got time for today because as I said, I'm tired as hell. Um, the ones at the end here aren't even open yet, so these are that's why they're at the end because they're not open until November, this one, or I think this one's December as well, so there's a bit of time spread. And yeah, I've noticed that a lot of these, well not a lot of them, only like three of them, are for like law firms or for firms that I don't really have an interest in. The reason why I'm keeping some of these open and I'm still going to apply to them at some point is because one, they're top employers so there's no harm in like doing it anyway and two, because even though it's like law or like uh, IP or things that I don't really care about, like as such, it's still interesting to go to these events and talk to people that do care about them. That way I get to learn like why they're applying or um, what avenues that are in this industry. I can even find out maybe there's something that I don't know about it already that actually applies to what I want to do which could be more or less interesting than the things that I have already started applying to. So I'm keeping these ones available just on the side for the time being. Especially ones like this Baker McKinsey one where the deadline is February 1st. It's the latest deadline so there's no reason to not keep an eye on it until later just in case uh, something comes up. But regardless, that's all I've done as far as um, applications go. What I've done on the side is I've also opened an Excel spreadsheet instead of a Word document. And here I'm going to note down everything I apply to and things that are coming up and deadlines and blah, blah, blah. So there's a key here, obviously, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Um, 1 being applied and 0 being not applied. So that's why most of these are red. And to be fair, I've only put two things in so far anyway. But as I go through, there's going to be about 30, if not 40 applications here that are going to be ongoing. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, as of right now, it's only the two. That I've applied for but as I said there's gonna be a lot more coming soon so yeah stay tuned to that that's been you know episode two of the internship game uh, let me know how you find it let me know if you guys are applying as well and we can like work things out together see who can get the, the most <laughs> successes but otherwise that's all for me so smash the like button if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe tell your friends order all, all of that stuff and I'll talk to you guys next time peace